This heart cake is so versatile, it could even be done in rounds. So Nancy, tell us how we get started. I know you want a crumb-free cake, mm -hmm. nice buttercream icing, mm -hmm. and where do we go from there? Well, everybody likes buttercream, and that's what this is. It's very easy to color, very easy to use. And we've kind of pre-done some things with our border. Time, but right. let's write our message on there. And you can either use a pattern press when your icing has just been put on and crust a little bit and press it in and follow the pattern. But I'm kind of Gently. a freestyle girl. But you have nice penmanship. I would have to do the pattern press because I'm not sure I have a steady hand or maybe too much coffee this morning. But uh. Well, the other thing is, is when you write, you just make sh want to sh make sure you're not supposed to go over it a second time okay. with writing. But sometimes I do. And I think, you know what? It just really doesn't make any difference as long as you're happy with it. And it's all about you yeah. and making and your own mark on it. And burp the bag to get the air out before you start yeah. writing. And you'll see I'm kind of using a combination of printing and writing. And that's just kind of how you end up doing it. See that? Right. Now, do you have some piping gel in with your buttercream to make it smoother or no? I don't. You don't. But okay, you could so put you're... piping gel on top if you wanted it to be kind of shiny and look good. But there's happy birthday. Oh, nice. Now what I'd probably do if I was going to take more time is I'd take a little toothpick and pat down my little pointies. But you know what? Let's not. And this turntable makes it really nice that you can actually maneuver your cake the way you want it. Now what I'm doing is I'm just making a big rosette here because we're going to just add some candles. And this is a star tip that mm -hmm. you're using, right? Yeah, this is a number 18. Okay. And I'm going to put okay. the candles in here. And normally you would put your flowers on first and then your leaves, but I'm just using a little leaf tip here. It's kind of hard to get it in under the flowers after you, um, you and know, put them still on. just tinted buttercream mm -hmm. that you're using, right? So, and it's still moist, so all you have to do is just drop your flowers in. Okay, and these are royal icing that you make ahead of time? Yes, and you know what, let me show you how to make those. We'll put, go ahead okay. and put them on here. But one of the nice things about using the royal icing is you can make a whole bunch ahead of time and then uh, and have them and have them on hand yeah a few extra just in case you sure. break them or yeah. um, I'm faster than you put the flowers on <laughs> <laughs> you might have a little more experience Nancy is the expert here we might want to mention that go okay, ahead just tuck okay. those in so I have some buttercream icing here and I'm just basically turning my wrist a little bit so I get a swirl this is a 90 degree angle that you hold your mm -hmm. bag at right and you can see um, you know, they'll look a little different. Like, I don't like that one, so I'll probably just throw it away. But now, is that the, is it, what, what, the, there's a pressure issue, right? When you're holding the bag, you stop the pressure before you lift up, Nancy? Yes, you do. Otherwise, okay. you get some points. And um, my tip's a little stuck there, but you could just, there you, go. you just add some centers in there. This is just a small round tip. And uh, you can see, I like to put my finger on it. That helps me be steady. Okay. Now, these I just did in buttercream to show you, but normally you'd use royal icing, which is having meringue powder in it, so it dries really hard. That way, uh, you can let them dry, and they'll turn out like this, and you can have them. And, and then they would set up over 24 hours. Yeah, at and, least 24 hours. And they're hours. still edible. Mm -hmm. okay. You can eat them. Mm -hmm. Then find it. Let's move <laughs> to another cake that would be cute for a Little garden sugar. party okay. or a tea or, you know, something outdoors. This is fondant. It comes pre-colored. You roll it out. I've got it on a nonstick mat. Now, I'm a little intimidated. I have to be totally honest. I've never worked in fondant, but when I see fondant cakes, they're always beautiful and smooth and perfect. Should I be concerned about working with this? Absolutely not. No. If you've ever worked with modeling clay... Well, I have. I have a six-year-old. We do that at home. Then you can okay. work with fondant. And you can see you just kind of shape it around here. It's a little harder to do a heart, but I thought, well, you know... How do you know size-wise how large to roll your fondant? You measure the side of your cake across the top, down the side, and then um, you just add a little extra to that. Now, I'm cutting it. You could use a pizza wheel. You could use scissors. Normally, you'd crumb coat your fondant, but I didn't because I wanted you to see what a pretty shape that we had here. Okay, and when you crumb coat, uh, you're talking about maybe a layer of buttercream, buttercream. under mm -hmm. it or mm -hmm. apricot. Mm -hmm. Okay. You could use apricot glaze, buttercream, and you can just kind of tuck it in. If you're going to do a border around it, you don't have to be as worried uh, as what I did because you can see a little bit there. So if we put a little border around it, but that's basically all you do with fondant. And some great celebrations for all of these would be, of course, the heart. Uh, Valentine's Day, that's a no-brainer, the obvious, uh, sweetest day, anniversaries. Those small cakes would be adorable for a wedding as a mm -hmm. takeaway gift. Mm -hmm. um, and then moving on, 
to this carriage, this baby buggy, for a new baby or telling grandparents they're going to be first time <laughs> grandparents. Oh, Wouldn't that's that be a cute, cute idea? Yeah. yeah. And you're, we're using some of the same dropped flowers. Now I'm just taking some icing here and just okay. going to place them on top. Now that's, you know, I showed you the heart cake, but I'm showing you uh, that just to kind of and now this let is, you know this is how you covered the cake. This fondant has already set up overnight. How long will your cake uh, be preserved under that fondant? About two to three days. Okay. And so one of the nice things about leeway. yeah, but one of the nice things about using fondant is that uh, it retains the moisture of your cake, so your cake doesn't dry out. And when you're thinking about all of these things, as far as party planning or eventing, if you start out maybe with a theme or a color theme, you can go from there, right? Mm -hmm. it, like if, if you do this with mint, you might have a cute green invitation. And, uh, go, you know, it's been a while since I've had a baby. So <laughs> to remember this, but uh, to do that with green. And then would you use a mint cake or would you use lemon um, as far as your cake mix? What would you use here? Well, either one of these cakes, because they're light in color, you know, they're kind of pastel. You know, they, they say to me, what, mint would be good with this. Uh, maybe even like a lemon, a lime flavored. Oh, and you know, you don't God. have to bake a cake. On the website, we have some cake recipes, but there's nothing wrong with using a cake mix. Oh, great. Well, we might mention on the website, as you said, there are recipes. There are other related projects that people can find, some how-to tips, mm -hmm. the icing tips. You're going to show how um, to make the rosette. Uh, there are, of course, our sh show schedule will be on there, but it, it really is uh, a great source of information. It is. And you know, we've done drop flowers here on this and you can see that that's kind of the embellishment to this whole cake, but you can also do it on cupcakes and cookies and you could do it on brownies if you wanted to by just taking these flowers that you've made ahead in the royal icing and letting them dry. We might mention that Nancy does make all of this look very easy. But if you do have questions for Nancy on the website, they can email you and you will respond to their concerns or their questions. Sure. And, and that's a great way to get some information to get your you questions answered. Purple? Maybe just one more purple one right there. You've got a pattern going here. Yeah, and you can see it's really easy to do. It takes a little bit of time to put it all together, but not that much. You'd be surprised. You saw how quickly we rolled out the fondant and put it over the heart cake. And I just love working with fondant. Well, mentioning the fondant, it comes in a box, pre-made like this. So do you pinch off what you need and roll it in a ball and warm it with your hands? Or do you even need to do that? You can do that to make it pliable if you want to. Now, I used it on the nonstick mat. If you don't have a nonstick mat, you can just sprinkle some confectioner's sugar on there and roll it out. And it comes in colors, mm -hmm. doesn't it? I mean, so you don't from, have to color it. Yeah. From, from the pastels to the neon colors that uh, we'll, we'll see later on, right? Yeah, and you can make your own fondant if you really want to. Oh, okay. But, <laughs> we won't yeah, go there. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a convenience girl. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy.